now today we are going to learn about to use different denomination of rupees for example 160 rupees so how did it count the notes and coins we could make rupees 160 rupees in many waves 160 rupees is 100 note 3 notes of rupees 20 next way 1 each of 100 rupees 50 rupees and 10 rupees and another way 3 notes of 50 rupees and 1 note of 10 rupees Usually, the fastest way to count is from the largest to the smallest. We start with the 100 rupees notes and move on until we reach the smallest amount. If we start counting from the smaller value notes, the counting will be slower and will take more time. Next, we are going to learn about represent amount in rubies and paise in different waves using money notation. We use P to write paise or E to write ruby or LS to write rubies. Also, we use a dot to separate rubies and the paise. For example, so there are different ways to write on amount which has both rubies and paise. One way is to write the amount of rubies followed by the word rubies and then write the amount of Paise followed by the word pi. In another way, we can just write the ruby sign instant of rubies followed by the amount and then the amount of paise followed by p. Next, when we write rubies and paise together as numerals, we put a point between the amount in rubies and in paise. The number before the point tells how many rubies. And the number after the point tells us how many paise.